Federico Jarescu Jr. is dubbed as the builder of futures with his unwavering passion for public service. He is as well known as a wise businessman with an astute perception in economics. But who is the man behind the suit? What are the passions that drive Teodorico Jaresco? Who is he as a father, as a friend, and as a public servant? Teodorico T. Jaresco Jr., or as many people call him Ted or Nonong, traces his roots from humble yet distinguished beginnings. Born in Ibahay Aklan, he has always been a relentless and persevering individual who believes that education is essential in one's life. Well, my father was a use of a uh, captain who eventually became a colonel and was awarded the Silver Cross uh, for bravery during World War II. Uh, he is uh, featured in a book uh, called uh, entitled uh, War in Panay. And uh, my mother is uh, summa cum laude at the age of 23. PhD in uh, law, sa USD. Both of them were uh, civil servants. His patriotic and pious parents taught him many values that up until now he still lives up to. Well, basically the values would be uh, what is uh, found in the Bible, the Old and the New Testament. Well, number one is uh, humility, which I don't seem to practice, <laughs> piety and propriety. And then always uh, using uh, whatever talents you think uh, God gave you. Ted has two siblings, and like him, both are successful in their own chosen field. My sister graduated from UP, uh, speech and drama. She's uh, happily married to a uh, Dutch uh, nuclear engineer. She resides in uh, Barendrecht, uh, Netherlands. My brother is a special trade representative of the Philippine government to Japan. It seems like Ted's path in life has always been clear to him. According to Congressman Florencio T. Miraflores of Aklan, Ted's first cousin, Ted as a young man already worked and earned by the sweat of his brow. Maski noon pa bata pa siya, he knew already what he was uh, going to do. No? He was really into business. I had my first uh, experience in business as an entrepreneur. Uh, I started uh, selling uh, shrimps to two hospitals and one restaurant. And I would, at the end, uh, I was a working student. So I was making about uh, 800 pesos per day selling shrimps and then going to school. We call each other um, soul brothers. <laughs> Kasi, uh, uh, kung mag-date kami noon, sabay-sabay din, you know. They spent their happy childhood days together in their hometown Ibahay, sometimes in Iloilo and in Bacolod. Studying in De La Salle, Manila together, they attended similar occasions and had the same group of friends. Kami ni Ted, uh, because of our <laughs> age, same age uh, bracket, uh, we spent most of our summers together. As Ted grew up, the decision to give prime importance on education led him to be the man that he is today. As a child, uh, I was uh, asked by my grandfather uh, if I wanted to continue being uh, in charge of uh, his carabao. And if uh, I wanted to continue, then I don't have to study. But if I did not want to continue uh, washing his uh, carabao every day and uh, bringing the carabao to the rice fields to eat uh, the grass, then I would have to study very well. As a young boy from a clan studying in De La Salle, Manila, a prestigious and prominent school gave him insecurities. But it did not stop him to reach for his dreams and graduate with confidence. Uh, coming from the province and going to an elite uh, school like uh, De La Salle, uh, there's always this uh, insecurity. Uh, being one of the few who would take uh, public transportation while uh, the rest uh, would have their own private vehicles and, and uh, yayas. 
And then I, I would uh, imagine that uh, increase my uh, metal of character uh, comparing myself to what I wish to be. Being the first ever Asian in the Ungtad ITC, it pushed him further to persevere and to prove himself. Aside from working in the Ungtad ITC, he also became part of various congressional committees on economic policy. He also worked in the Coordinating Council of the Philippine Assistance Program of the Office of the President. Because of his wide range of experience, he learned a lot of things that he applied in business that eventually made him a successful businessman that he is today. Well, being the first Asian uh, co compelled me to work six hours longer than the rest. Mm. Uh, since I was a project economist, mm -hmm. I was entitled to a uh, secretary. Mm -hmm. So, in that job, uh, you are given a cup of coffee almost every 30 minutes because the secretary uh, has uh, has to be extended on a monthly basis. So that showed me that uh, since 80% uh, of the United Nations are casuals and only 20% are permanent, that showed me as a businessman now that uh, low overhead is the most important uh, factor as a businessman. Coming up, witness his passion in business and his commitment in helping his fellow Filipinos in making their dreams a reality. Get to know the party list that champions micro-entrepreneurs in the country.